All right, let's work through the San Diego Zoo problem together. I'll tell you ahead of time that this is just one of the many ways that you can solve this problem. Uh, there's lots of different ways to get to the answer, but there is only one correct amount of seals to place in place of the question mark. So I'm going to walk you through one of the ways today. Uh, again, we're remembering that each level of the ship is going to be balanced from left to right. So whatever's on the left of level one will be equal in weight to what's on the right of level one, and that goes for every level moving up the ship. So starting at the bottom, I can see that one elephant is equal in weight to two bears. Let's look through and see if we can exchange any bears for an elephant. If I go up, I can see that right here on the second level, there are two bears. I can trade these two bears in for one elephant. Now, when I'm looking at this level of the ship, I see that I have an elephant on the right and an elephant on the left side of the ship. If I remove the elephant from both the right and the left, I'll still be keeping that level of the ship balanced, right? I'm removing the same amount of weight from each side. So let's do that. Let's now eliminate that elephant from the right and eliminate the elephant from the left. We'll no longer be using those animals. I see another two bears that I could exchange for an elephant, but I don't see an elephant on the other side. So I don't think that's going to help me right now, but I could keep that in the back of my mind. If I go up to the fourth level of the ship, or the second, depending which direction we're going, I see that one bear is equal in weight to three zebras. Hmm. So right here I see three zebras. So I can exchange those three zebras for a bear. And I can exchange these three zebras for a bear. Okay. So all six of these zebras are equivalent to just two bears. I also see a lot of zebras up here. So let's see if I can exchange three zebras for a bear again. One, two, three. All right, so these three zebras I'm going to exchange in for a bear. And these three zebras I'm going to exchange in for a bear. Okay. Hmm. Well, this has made me notice a couple different things. First is looking right here. Now on this level where I have the question mark, I have a bear on the right and I have a bear on the left. So I can already eliminate those. Let's cross off that one bear that I have here. And I'm going to cross off the three zebras that were equivalent to a bear on this side. Now, I know that what I'm looking for in this question mark is either equal in weight to three zebras or is equal in weight to a bear because they weigh the same amount. Okay, that gave me some more options. Back up at the top again, I see that I have a bear on the left. I'm sorry, I have two bears on the right here. And I have a bear on this side. Hmm. Well, I remember from the beginning that two bears are equal in weight to an elephant. So together, these two bears makes up an elephant. So why don't we eliminate all of these zebras, which would be equal to two bears, which is equal to one elephant, so that we can eliminate an elephant from this side. Now we're really narrowing in how many animals we have on our boat. So let's look what we have. Now, I can see that I have two kangaroos is equal in weight to a bear and two seals. Okay, and if you're having trouble seeing that, rewrite it down the bottom. Kangaroo and a kangaroo is equal to a bear and two seals. Well, let's do that exchange. If I know that two kangaroos is equal to a bear and two seals, here's two kangaroos right here. Let's exchange these two kangaroos for a bear and two seals. So I'm going to get rid of my two kangaroos and change them to a bear and two seals. Okay, 
you're not seeing where I got that from, just go back again. That was our top level. We had two kangaroos left, and they were balancing weight to two seals and a bear. So we said, hmm, well then let's get rid of both of these seals, sorry, both of these kangaroos, and trade them for a bear and two seals. So those two kangaroos, I've just traded. Now I know that a bear and one, two, three, four, five, six seals is equal to two bears. Hmm. Well, look at that. Now I have a bear on the left and a bear on the right. If I take a bear off of both sides of the ship, the ship will remain balanced. I now know that one bear is equal in weight to how many seals? Six seals. So when I come down here, one bear is equal in weight to six seals. If you're having trouble following how I just solved this question, I'd like you to go back and try watching it again and try marking on your paper as well. Again, please remember this is not the only way to get the solution of six seals, but if you found that your question mark answer was six seals, then you did solve correctly, and I challenge you to find a nice, clear way to explain your answer to your peers.